All right, just taking a quick look at this new amp piece. This is the Andes 1500. It's a mid-sized power station. You know, if you're considering something like a Blue Eddy AC 180, Jackery 1000 Plus, or really any of the EcoFlow Delta 2 models. I mean, depending on which size battery, you know, which size battery you want. This one somewhere in the middle, isn't it? So 1462 watt hours and a 2400 watt continuous AC inverter and kind of, you know, everything else that you're going to want. Now, you might you might say, well, you know, <laughs> I'm sure this thing has good specs. But, you know, what the heck is it? What is Ampace? Well, guess what? Ampace, they say it's actually a company, it's, it's like a joint venture between ATL and CATL, which is one of the biggest battery, in fact, it probably is the biggest battery company in the world. You know, they're at the, they're at the leading edge of battery tech, especially, you know, when we're talking about LFP tech, companies like Tesla and now even Ford, yeah, a lot of their electric cars, they're going to be offering or are offering an LFP pack. Guess guess who makes it? <laughs> guess who makes it? CATL. They're actually saying the LFP battery in this thing, 6,000 cycles. Premium EV grade LFP battery, in fact. Now, you know, they don't say to what capacity. So, you know... Is it to 80% capacity? I don't know. It might, it might be less than that. But still, you know, <laughs> you get the point here, right? You get the point. And it's not just the battery, is it? They're saying that they're using this sick prime. So what is that? You know, it's silicon carbide. It's basically a newer version. I mean, well, you can see all the, you can see all the specs here, all the stats, all the claims, you know, right here on the screen. You know, you've heard of, obviously, you've heard of Silicon Valley. You know, why did they call it Silicon Valley? Yeah, because of all, you know, it's high tech, right? It's all the electronic tech stuff was based around the silicon semiconductor, right? I mean, that's what made it all possible. So this is just like a newer, this is the latest version, you know, and you're going to get all of these benefits. So not just silicon anymore, silicon carbide. Now, I do know some of the other power station brands are, you know, they are doing, they are using this stuff, or they're using GAN. You know, you've, you might have heard of that one as well. That's kind of an alternative, gallium nitride. It's all the same stuff here. You know, basically, it's going to produce less heat, and that just means, you know, more efficiency. You're going to have less losses. And then, of course, too, with less heat, you can have... The fans, you know, they don't have to run as hard, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, it's going to be quieter as well. So, yeah, this is, you know, this is the latest tech. And this thing has it, <laughs> you know. This thing has it. And since we're talking about fan noise, yeah, let's just talk about this real quick. 30 decibels, it does have this quiet mode or sleep mode. So, you know, yes, 30 decibels, like, you would hardly hear that. But... You know, this is just for like a low speed charge. If you did run a big load with this thing, and remember, this thing can do, well, it's a 2400 watt inverter, continuous. They're saying 3600 watt surge. So, you know, if you were running big loads with this, it's definitely going to be louder than 30 decibels. And now let's say, you know, you don't care about how loud the fans are. You just want to charge this thing up fast. Well, you can do that, of course. You know, this is... It is a bi-directional inverter, and that's how you're going to be able to put, you know, almost, well, yeah, less than one hour. They're saying you can charge this thing all the way up to 100% too. This isn't, it's a lot of times you see these specs and it'll say charged up to 80%. This is the whole thing, you know, this is 1,400, almost 1,500 watt hours in an hour, basically. So that's 1,500 watts going into it. And then for the solar, it's 600 watts right there and it's an xc60 xc60 input so that's a good one and of course you know yes you can monitor all of this with the app they do have an app and bluetooth or wi-fi you know whichever one you want to use 
Now let's kind of talk about the design of this thing. It's interesting. The cooling vents here, kind of a, it's kind of a unique design. They're kind of tucked into the recessed area of the handle. Kind of goes up like that. You can actually see it from this top view as well. And of course, what you might notice too here is, yeah, there's like these, I don't know. <laughs> they don't talk about this. This is kind of weird. There's like these really cool, I don't know if they're ambient lights or they just, you know, indicate when the thing is like charging or when, when it's fully charged or, or what. But it definitely looks like they light up. So kind of a, it's just kind of a cool little design there, isn't it? Now, of course, you know, the last thing you want to know about is <laughs> the most important thing you want to know about is does it have an LED light? It does. Right on the front, it's a little one, but it is there. It is there, so you know it passes my test. <laughs> I can't give I can't give my approval to any power station that doesn't have its own light built into it, right? Because if the power is out, this, it's so, it's so important. If the power is out. You need to see you need to be able to see what you're doing, don't you? It doesn't do you any good to plug in you know something you plug in something if you what good is it going to do if you can't see? <laughs> you know what I mean?